Welcome to See Me Here, where you come for all of your media needs. My name is Ray. It's your boy, Nikki Tay Tay. And today, we are reviewing Child's Play. Directed by Lars Klefberg, starring Gabriel Bateman as Andy Barclay, and Mark Hamill as the voice of Chucky. So, everybody is making a remake this year. We got Aladdin, we got The Lion King, of course we get Child's Play. That's like the perfect trilogy right there. It's a combo for the ages. Uh, but this film is slightly different than the original. They take a more modern tone, yes, which I appreciate. Uh, and having Mark Hamill voice somebody sadistic as Chucky is not a bad look, considering all his years voicing the Joker uh, in any animated cartoon, if you didn't know that. And he uh, also voiced Chucky before on the TV show. Yeah, in Robot Chicken, but that was, who cares about that? But <laughs> this movie, I think, did pretty good. For what I expected. Like, yeah, the Chucky doll looks weird, but it's not a Chucky doll. It's a buddy doll. So, they kind of get a pass there. And yeah, modern isn't always good, but it also opens the door for more interesting uh, things to happen in the future if they choose to continue. This film, for me, was enjoyable. I would have to agree. I think it was a good modern take on something that scared a lot of people as ch children, especially myself. Absolutely. One or two being very one specifically. But this movie, I don't know if you thought about this at all, but this movie is really almost like a rehash of the movie Small Soldiers. Like it really gave me that same story element. Like the the toy actually turned out to be bad and he had to fight against it. And like it had that same element. Was a different guy. So of course it was different. But it gave me that same element. I literally was thinking about that as I was watching the movie. Like, this is like Small Soldiers. Like, even to the making of the toy, right? Like, all the way down to how the toy was even able to be so bad, right? So, but, but it was still enjoyable. But like I said, it did have a familiar feel to it. Yeah, and a lot of people might not know Small Soldiers, but it did also remind me of Small Soldiers. I was rooting for the Gorgonites the whole time. Absolutely. And Gabriel Bateman did a good job. I, I, I got to give credit when credit is due. Yeah. I think he did well. Uh, I, I, I like the play on, you know, him being the, you know, the kid that really don't got a lot of friends and, you know, being lonely and that's why, you know, the buddy doll was able to even be such a big, you know, thing in his life because he didn't have anybody, you no know, no father. I don't know if that's going to play a part in the future, but maybe that is the reason why this movie did so well because I think it played on the heartstrings of, you know, people that I'll kind of say is lost, right? Like. Is that fair to say? No, I don't want to agree. You don't agree at all? Yeah, I thought the child actor did okay. okay. I don't think he did well. Okay. The mom was terrible. Really? Uh, a lot of the actual people actors didn't impress me. Okay. I think the big selling point again was Chucky. Mm -hmm. uh, the actors were just there. They were just pieces, right? And Chucky was more alive than any of them in a lot of the scenes. So... Mm. I, I will have to disagree. I think the, I think Gabriel did a good job. I do agree. Everybody else, for the most part, was pretty bad. And uh, Chucky was it. Chucky was, was the star of the show, as he should be. Show. And I like that they kept the funny elements in Chucky, even though it's you know a horror movie. I still like that you know how he kills people. I did the fact that, that it's a doll. Right? I did appreciate that. And they had a good they had good kill scenes, right? They had some good kill scenes in this movie. For this movie to be rated R, they really did use that rated R tag. I will say to the fullest. Yes, I will agree. The kills were. Pretty cool. Uh, I didn't see anything that was absolutely new, but I also didn't see something that was like stereotypical. He did some things. I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of interesting. Uh, see, I kind of saw the setups, but it was it was still nice. You mm -hmm. know, not completely fresh kills, but they weren't spoiled either. So good job. And the reasoning behind uh, this buddy doll going out and killing people, I thought was kind of well written, right? Uh, especially going off of the originals where you know. He was trying to take the soul of the child, which was still good. I'm not saying that was great. It was great, actually. But I also like the motivations of the buddy dog. Like, I like this transition from what he was to what he became at the end. So I, I, I got to give credit when credit is due. That is good writing, and that is a good way to, I guess, uh, retell a story that is, people are familiar with. Yeah, true friend to the end. My biggest negatives about this movie was actually the way he looked. I kind of like the original look more. So I didn't like the new take on the look. I almost kind of would have hoped they would have kept it original. That probably would have been the best part to me, but they did. I hate the new look. And my second biggest part about the movie was actually the last scene. Uh, I feel like the the you know the the ending, the the ending act, really let this movie fall fall on its face. I think I would have gave the movie a lot higher grade 
uh, if the ending would have been a lot better. As someone that loved the original Child's Play, uh, mainly one, two, and three, three a little bit, but one and two for sure. I think this movie did a good job of trying to recreate that for a different generation. I gotta give credit when credit is due. I think I did a good job of trying to get there. Y'all still missed the mark, but y'all did a great job at attempting. And I would not even see the second film if it was done right. Uh, be it, that being said, I probably have to give this movie a 6.7. I think that this movie is definitely worth watching for any of the people that love the franchise or anybody that's trying to get into it because it does have some nostalgia in it, but it also has a new feel to it. So I guess it's a decent mix of the best of both worlds. I think for me, I'm kind of at the same ballpark, right? Like there's a little bit of the nostalgia factor that is saying, oh, this movie is good in a lot of aspects. Uh, but really it's not. It's really just a doll killing people, uh, which is good. We've seen it before though. So you got to bring something fresh, something cool, something that's going to be lasting. Uh, and the most lasting thing about this film is just a concept. Like nothing in the execution I will remember. Will I remember exactly what Chucky did or anything that was actually said? No, I will not. But I will remember how they made this movie modern. And that is saying something. Like, you had the foundation. You just didn't build the rest of the house great. Uh, so, for me, I'm at a 6.8. Also, I'm, I'm right there. It's not a 7. It's so close to being a 7. Like, maybe if I had an actor that did, like, more stand out. Or they had a kill that just blew me away. Or, I don't know. Just something. Chucky did something. And I was like, oh, that's hilarious! <laughs> 7. But I didn't really get any of those. I got... Okay, it's a Chucky dog. I got some okay kills, and then I get a story that I say, Yeah, I really like where you went. But, you know, that completes the review for Child's Play. Uh, next, we will be getting Hellraiser and Candyman and the Leprechaun and all of those nice Leprechaun classics. coming too? No, I don't know. I just made up half of those. Uh, we definitely are getting Candyman. Yeah, but, like you are. <laughs> but, I mean, I mean, that's the next step. Hollywood is just so fucking lazy. And they're just going to rehash all the nice stuff. They're going to put a modern spin on them and yep. say, hey, this is brand new. Eat it up. And you shouldn't. You should wait for us to watch it and then decide if you're going to eat it up. Because nobody has the money for that. Welcome to Hollywood. As always, make sure you tell us how you felt about the movie. I know some people will absolutely love this movie. I say that about a lot of things. But I know there are people out here that will truly love this movie. They will say, this was perfect. This delivered exactly what you expected. You guys are too harsh. And it's like, okay, yeah, I understand that. But I would say to you that your standards are too low. <laughs> and you need to see better horror movies like It 2 coming out. Uh, as always, hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our reviewing content. And don't forget, you've seen it here. My buddy. I don't know. I can't even do the song. My buddy. Thank <laughs> you.